Today I'm going to show you how to use boat coat epoxy resin and a few other goodies to model making. What we're doing here, my dad does models of farm machinery. He's made a little four furrow plough here. He's dressed up all the horses over here. We're going to mount it on a board. So it's got a bit of class to it. The idea is we've got some plywood and we've drilled holes to secure all the horses, holes to secure the plough and I've gone and bought some artificial turf and we're going to glue that on there like so and then with the Fixtech MSP 190 because it's a really good adhesive and then we're going to put some epoxy in here and make it look like plough furrows so as we go I'll run you through the routine so the first thing we're going to do is glue our turf on. I've got it marked out. We'll put some Fixtech MSP 190 down, spread it out, then we'll put our artificial turf on and it'll lock in place. See it's a plastic so epoxy won't want to stick that. The MSP 190 will lock it down really nice. And away you go. You could probably also use contact adhesive but you need something with some body because this is rippled on the back. So it's got to be quite thick for it to, you to be able to push down into it and hold it in place. Anyway, let's go to town on a little tip to keep your adhesive sealant for longer is stick it in the fridge. So this has been sitting in the fridge and it was really cold. So what I do is I set it in the microwave, heated it up and it makes a world of difference. It just oozes out. Even if you get old stuff and it's starting to go off, difficult to extract out of the tube a lot of pressure just stick it in the microwave for 60 seconds and get it nice and hot this is almost the point where you can't hold your hand on it and that brings it back to life and look at this buddy comes out really easy yeah and I notice I'm not using a nozzle and I'm making a mess but anyway don't worry about that uh, but it comes out nice and easy what I've done here I've used duct tape to hold our grass down around the corner it didn't want to stay down where the adhesive sealant is so I've used some duct tape to hold it down I'll just finish this off and I'm also going to do this end as well and pull it around so it looks nice and neat and that'll finish it off the last we discussed I taped up our artificial turf on our board because it wouldn't roll around the edges it kept lifting so taped it up, it's been on there overnight, so we'll cut the tape off it and see what it looks like. We're making our soil. So we've used the boat coat epoxy resin just with some standard hardener. 40 mil resin, 20 mil hardener. Mixed them together and then added some pigment. So I started out with some proof tint, uh, mahogany, and it sent it to red or purple almost. And so then we got some uh, boat coat uh, pigment, black and put it in until we got the colour we got and I'm jealous I, I like this colour it, it's like the black soil out in western New South Wales so what we're doing here lathering it on and by the time we're finished it'll look like ploughed ground like the one over here so th this is what we plan on ending up with our um, soil and uh, we'll sprinkle a little bit of artificial turf on it as well so it looks like it's turned soil we're well underway with setting up our Giddings plough. So we've got, I've put the five horses on here and the plough on, ready to roll. And the way we do that, I've used screws on the horses and um, just some copper wire to hold the plough on. Uh, these horses are cheapies from Kmart. And pick them up for five or six dollars each and Dad dresses them up and away they go. This one over here, he's uh, into this one, and if you look, he's setting the chains up now. He's got all the links on the plough, uh, and we'll, he'll have that finished tonight. It'll look pretty good. Um, and he's come up with a new technique. He even sews the leather, and then glues it to the um, harness. They doing it, I think. And. Um, it looks he's smarter than using the epoxy glue on this one. See, he's used epoxy glue to hold these on. Just looks more finished over there on that. Um, 
and uh, nice and neat. Anyway, they're, they're looking pretty good. So there's the old man hard at work. We've finished our two ploughs with our horses set up. They're set up line abreast and we've got the chains set up. Pull evenly, all the saddlery on there. Notice this one, uh, there's been leather glued around the hames. We've even got our lead set up. Uh, notice the difference in the colour of the soil. This, see how it's gone shiny when I did the epoxy. I should have added more filler to it. Notice this is less shiny and more lumpy. The texture looks more like soil. I add a lot more filler to this. Just the, the colour's a little yucky. You know, that light brown. But then again, that's how loamy soil would have looked. Uh, this is more like black soil uh, out in the west. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with how they turned out. Not bad for a 90 year old bloke. This video is to show you how you can use boat coat epoxy to finish off your model work. What we did here, we sieved some sand, propagating sand, and got the coarse stuff out, put some boat coat down onto a piece of timber, and then just spread this thin, thinner sand over it until it was no longer shiny, so the epoxy coming through. Let it dry, and then took the excess sand off and so it looks like our roadway and then as a contrast use the coarser sand now to simulate a sidewalk glued bits in with epoxy all, all the uh, hames are glued in with uh, some boat coat epoxy that's brown so it blends in and over here we uh, simulated ploughed ground with the boat coat epoxy with um, filler and then put some colour to it and uh, these are the two different shades here. Uh, so you can use uh, boat coat for model making. Comes in really well for doing up scenery. There's a whole heap of epoxy glue on that used in various places throughout these models as well. Mm -hmm.